Hello everyone, just a quick update about the ongoing pending payment situation. NY week ending July 10th and July 17th could be very important benefit weeks in regards to the potential of new pending payment problems. Now as this week has gone on, we have continued to hear on a daily basis more and more claimants report in they have finally had their pending payments pushed through to paid. These claimants have reported on average between 10 to 14 weeks worth of pending payments that finally got paid out through either reaching EDD directly, contacting their state assembly member, or in some cases just done automatically. We do know that the EDD announced the plan to shift all their employees to handle the pending payment issue back in late May, so it seems this could be the result of that plan. However, there is still a substantial amount of backlogged EDD claims that continues to grow by the week. Now, week ending July 10th and July 17th have the potential of becoming the most important benefit weeks of the summer when it comes to determining the future of the pending payment situation. Back in early April, EDD performed its first quarterly review of the year where they looked to see if you had earned any work wages during the time of your claim. Now, as a result, many people started experiencing pending payments for week ending April 10th due to the quarterly review, and many were forced to call into EDD to have a stop payment alert removed from their account allowing payments to be processed. Now the second quarterly review will take place in early July with week ending July 10th being the first impacted week. It is not known if EDD addressed the technical issues causing those stop payment alerts since April, but if you do not currently have pending payments at the moment and start seeing pending payments for week ending July 10th, it is highly likely it is a result of the quarterly review that will force you to call in to get resolved. July 17th is going to be another important benefit week, as this will be the first week the work search requirements will have been reinstated. In almost all cases, you will be expected to answer yes for question three on whether or not you looked for work. Do keep in mind if you answer no, in all likelihood you will see those pending payments start appearing and be put on a list for a phone interview with a current wait time of up to three months. The big question still remains around the requirement to register for Cal jobs. Per the EDD, they have stated new claims except PUA starting on or after July 11th will have to register for a CalJobs account. There still needs to be further clarification in regards to the requirements for existing claimants. One question is, will EDD's computer system be able to tell the difference between claims filed before and after July 11th so that it does not improperly flag existing claims that have not signed up for CalJobs? It does sound like an easy thing to do, but given the track record of EDD's computer system, that does cause some concern of a potential future pending payment cause. The EDD's computer system seems to have difficulty with the simplest of tasks, so I continue to advise everyone, even PUA claimants, to spend a few minutes, sign up for CalJobs, and upload your resume to be safe. The hope is that week ending July 10th will not see the increase of pending payments that April 10th saw as a result of those quarterly reviews and that the transition back to the work search requirement goes as smoothly as possible. But to keep these situations in mind if you start experiencing pending payments in early July. In the meantime, let us know in the comments section below what problem you are currently experiencing with your EDD claim. Make sure to click on that subscribe button below for future updates on this channel. And thanks for watching.